Tap files, and as the door above me says, welcome to another cemetery seek. A little drizzly and dreary, but not too windy, and it's on a main road where they are actually building new houses on the other side, so I'm hoping it won't be too noisy. We are in the small village of Willington today to cemetery seek this very old, on the edge of a road, on the edge of a town, cemetery. Um, it is next to the town of Repton, um, which the two often fight for popularity with um, their two churches um, being connected at one time. So I have been to Repton before, uh, which if you recollect, if you've seen my vlogs from that time, it might have been maybe a year ago. Um, I think it was the one that had a crypt underneath. I'm not definite about that. I could be wrong. I just got so many cemeteries, how can I remember? But anyway, I'll get off the road here. Let's just come around the side so I can uh, give you a bit more information away from the noisy road. So, in relation to the name Willington, um, at first I thought it actually was to do with um, a family name that actually owned the area back in the day but um, it actually derives from Anglo-Saxon which there's a few roads around here that all have Saxon names there's even a Sa Saxon grove I think it was um, from Willatoon um, which means settlement by the willows there is um, a canal that goes nearby and uh, the main river that cuts through this area as well so obviously if we're talking uh, Saxons, people that travel by boat, obviously that's how they would there have got There was also here. evidence that there was a tribe that lived in this area called the Beaker people, as they were known, because a lot of the land around here, um, they found different potteries that were uh, decorative cups. Um, the actual graves around that time as well, they would have decorative cups and beakers next to them. So. That's another little historical tidbit for who used to be in this area. Another bit of interesting Willington history that I found as well was that uh, Willington Hall, which is nearby, I've not actually been around the area yet, um, ha was a prisoner of war camp in World War I. Um, the evidence of this is there's apparently some pillars that are in front of the, the main entrance and they have uh, barbed wire grooves in there so that's another little fascinating thing if anybody was interested in that. So that's about as much as I'm going to go on about um, the history of Willington itself. So let's get on with seeking some cemetery graves shall so we? So right up the front there was this really adorable little gate area so I'll just take you up to there but not too far so that it's as noisy as the road but here we have the view of the front a very simple small church with a little spire um, I cannot tell if it's open I haven't even checked yet I think we'll go around the front and have a look if it is because uh, I could see one of the windows was open but that doesn't always mean anything does it now <laughs> in case you're interested this is adorable they have a library that is open every Wednesday with 600 books to borrow. How cute is that? Definitely not open. Alongside the far wall, do have beautiful engravements here. Put that word there, the H. So pretty. So these are John and Mary Towel Tole Towel from 1753 so there we go we have an idea I couldn't find much information on the opening dates of this church really but um, obviously these are of great importance a couple of slates along the wall they're pretty huge but I like the top of this one gone Ball and different tools along the side, and uh, the 
there's two with this on the top as well. There's two graves here propped up against the side wall um, that are dedicated in the memory of John Dithick. Um, the top part is of John Proctor, who was a Litchfield surgeon, and then the memory of Ellen, who was does anybody know what this word is? I'm not familiar with it. Relict? Relict? Um, who was obviously here. And it does also say Catherine, relict of Captain Hodgkinson. And I did like on this one next to it, it says, she might be equaled, but not excelled. So excuse the noise, because I said they're building opposite, but a lot of these graves are very very similar from 1911 1912 but then i looked in this corner over here to see how easily i can get there look at this who did this even belong to it's like they must have this house on the other side obviously but they must have built this wall and then moved this as close as they could like the wall was maybe crossing over it um, I can see over here, I don't know if it's quite obvious, that there's like supports. I really wouldn't know what they would be for, going all the way around the outside, but this one's just kind of sad. Who were they? Doesn't even look like an actual cross, does it? There's a bit of a memorial garden, I guess, back here, but um, along with all the pieces that have been thrown at the back. So this tiny little grave at the bottom of Annie Long, who died aged 22. I mentioned this before, and whether or not it's true of here as well, but I found it to be quite truthful in other places that I've been to. When there's been really, really small gravestones, and all they have is just two letters on them, um, sometimes they had a pretty bad life, maybe did some wrongdoings. Um, all the gravestones are facing this way, except for this one. Just one grave on its own that says SC or SG. So perhaps it could be for that reason. So there is one last gate at the back here, but I just want to show you this one's someone's house, but I'm just going to film. Along that wall, this is obviously everything they've found when they've been digging up around here. <laughs> A lot of uh, artifacts, I would say. Look at this awesome glass bottle. It's really cool. So there's definitely not going to be any way I'm going to get in here. Obviously the first Wednesday of the month would be the best time to come to check out that 600 book library. <laughs> um, but for me, I think that's going to be a wrap up. Um, hope you've enjoyed this. It's quite a small one, but since uh, I'd already visited Repton and saw that this was nearby, um, thought I had to come and see it as well. Uh, I, I guess it's pretty well kept, but I guess nobody comes here, so it doesn't really get messed up. <laughs> At least gravestones aren't toppled, and they are very well looked after. Um, the last ones I wanted to mention were the Ward family, it looks like, are in the wall here. Look how big those gravestones are. You can imagine just there, there's a drain pipe, and how big that is. Anyway. That's going to be a conclusion from me. I might go and check out the town hall and see if I can see um, the signs of, what did I say, barbed wire being wrapped around the uh, pillars near to the door. But we'll see if I get there. If not, toodle pip from me. It's going to be many more 2019 cemetery seeks. I've got a big list from all you lovely followers. You've given me tons of advice of places to go places to see so thank you so much appreciate all of you following me into 2019 after oh, I don't know how many years I've been searching for cemeteries now but um, I just love doing it and I'm glad that you're able to come along with me and enjoy it as well so until next time everybody bye